Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe here with Battlefield 3 and back to Karkins. We are on the Sharky Peninsula. At least I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. If not, well, feel free to correct me in the comments below. He's a dead man. And that was an example of a tank being flanked by a whole bunch of friends of mine that we were actually playing a few nights ago. Uh, sometimes, some of us for the first time on this map uh, since Back to Karkin's release. And I have to say, at least a couple of these guys had been with me in the Battlefield 2 days. So this is, of course, very nostalgic for us to see these maps recreated in this beautiful game engine with such exquisite detail. I mean, it's incredible. It's, it's weird. It's almost surreal to be here. It's like... We literally, we were touring some of the maps on some, you know, lighter or empty servers. And it was like, oh man, I remember being here. I remember we used to come to this building. We used to, you know, assault here or defend here. It was t literally battlefield flashbacks. And it was, it was glorious and awesome. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where it makes you think, you know what? Sometimes the old maps were just the best and, and and I do have to say that it seems not only I but you know a couple friends of mine and a lot of people in the community agree that the Battlefield 3 maps that shipped with the game just were not up to par you know very few of the maps were actually considered you know true Battlefield maps maybe we got Caspian Border and Operation Firestorm as some of the bigger maps but but even then the playable space is actually quite small in comparison to maps like this or any of the maps in Battlefield 2 or the other Battlefield games, for example. In in any of the maps, like Firestorm, for example, you go outside the playable area and the textures become lower res. Or in Car Island, there's trees which are basically two-dimensional sprites. And it's just, you know, kind of pointless to be out there other than just to snipe. But here, everything is playable space, and every portion of this map, or any of the maps in Back to Karkin, are usable and, and come in real handy. And this is basically what happens when you uh, drive over a landmine. But that's actually a friend of mine who hit that. He did not see that coming, nor did I. So there was a little bit of a pause here as we all laughed on Ventrilo. But just the sheer detail of these maps, in some cases, some people have been thinking, well, these maps still feel kind of small, no scope in hardcore mode, harder than it looks. But in, in this game, anyway, losing my train of thought here while I'm looking at the action, too. Sometimes the, the, the maps feel a little small, but it's, not, it's kind of an, an illusion that you have to kind of tell your brain, you know, not to think about, basically. The field of view is a little different, the game engine is different, the scale just feels different because of the game engine itself. So the maps, as far as I remember, it's been so long since I've played Battlefield 2, but as far as I can tell, the maps are a pretty accurate scale. We obviously have the right amount of maps. They're in the right locations. It's just very playable. It just makes sense. And with the old school uh, mode that Battlefield 2 had with, the, with their old school conquest mode, everything just works better. And it's almost like these maps really just should have came with the game and, well, who knows, maybe they were supposed to. And, you know, they just, you know, they pushed the game out a little too early, perhaps, and, you know, here we go. But, you know, we, most of us got back to Karkin for free, and apparently if you buy the game fresh, you can still get these for free, I guess. If you get the limited edition, which, as far as I know, there is no other edition, but uh, not that I've seen anyway. But uh, as you can see, this battle was definitely kind of close, but it didn't go our way. There's a guy around the corner who kind of gave me a wake-up call. And there's this friend who is also deceased as of now. And there was a guy laying down. thought it was a body, but it was not. It is now. But yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. Honestly, it almost makes me wonder. I haven't really looked at some of the older... I mean, I say older, but you know, the game just still is fresh. But... I say I haven't looked at some of the maps that, you know, the game shipped with after Karkin came out. These maps are just so good. They never stopped being good. And honestly, I I would pay for DICE to give us some more Battlefield 2 maps. I have no problem laying down some money for more awesome maps. And because some of the old stuff is the best. In, in all the games I've played in my life, whether it's Quake or Rainbow Six or whatever... The old school maps have always been the best, and sometimes sequels come out and they don't, and they get rid of those maps and they make new maps. Some new maps are okay, 
But you know what? Sometimes I just think that new games should always bring back classics, and DICE did a good one by us, especially for the, for the price point. But anyway, guys, this has been Side Strafe with some more Battlefield 3 back to Kark. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Don't forget to favorite it as well. That helps me a lot. And I will see you soon, guys. Take care.